Good morning there. Good morning, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Van Holly. Good morning. And so the, we are here to discuss the contract, uh, proposed contract with Mr. Van Holly. Last week the board approved his uh, application for economic development funds. The uh, uh, application reflected um, he had applied for three years, uh, though it did reflect the one I received uh, that had been replaced with the one year. So there is a one year. Uh, a contract that I presented to uh, the members individually, and uh, the only change that I have made, actually I made one correction over on the third draft, it says uh, to paragraph 7.4, where originally it said contractor shall be deemed an agent of the county under the Oregon Court Claims Act, but that should have been shall not be deemed an agent of the county under the Oregon Claims Act for protection purposes. Uh, so I just added one word, and other than that, I think we're all looking at the same document. And so with that, this is the, uh, the two parties are now together in a public meeting. And so this is the opportunity for the two parties to negotiate the <coughs> Yes, yeah, Gentlemen, madam. This reflects kind of a conversation we had how many months ago? Several. Beginning of November. The only concern that uh, I have is with regard to the scope, um, because the, the scope, the, as it's currently written, doesn't reflect what we discussed and what I committed to at all. Um, the original proposal that I submitted had a, a letter in it that asked some rhetorical questions about you know, where, why we are where we are, and those rhetorical questions were not meant to serve as the basis of the scope of services that I would provide. I'm very clear about the, the intent here is to is to identify and to target and reach out and connect with these high-tech companies that would be the right size and demographic to fit within the fabric of our community's resource capacities, uh, private health companies, et cetera, you know, performance metrics and performance standards all the companies are looking for. But that, you know, that's what my application, I'm requested to submit an application, and that application is abundantly clear on what the scope of services is, and, that, and the contract, the scope that's in the contract is, is no reflection on what I'm doing. The first part of it. And I think I, I sent an email to that effect and had um, crossed out the, uh, the rhetorical questions that were not part of the original scope of work, and I left the other items in. So if you have, uh, I don't know if you have any packages, if you have that last email from me, I basically made those, those proposed amendments just in the simple text of the email and said these things are not part of the scope and these things are, so... I would ask for your consideration in that regard because that's not that's not what I was intending to do. And specifically, are you referring to items three A, B, C, D, and E? Yeah, I think that was exactly. Thank you, Lord, for that available. Yeah. So, um, yeah, those are rhetorical questions that are in the letter of the first proposal, and then you know, with items F through K, what I what I did is I amended that to reflect Jackson and Joseph County because in these two county initiatives. There are in the application uh, metrics that are more specific to Josephine County, mm -hmm. but when the original application was submitted, it was based on two county regions. Those were cumulative totals for the two county region. And also, the, the time frames associated with those targets um, were adjusted in email I sent you as well in Kuala. Yeah. And, that, and that accurately reflects what we talked about and what my application states. So if you have that, Adjuster, did you have that access to that part of the package by chance? Yes. Oh. Okay, so you guys have that in your package, that particular email with the adjustments to the scope? I've got the email, but it's not necessarily a package, right? Yeah. Oh, the package that I provided to the board. Yeah, it's, I'm just asking if they have access to that so we can talk about it if they, if they have it. No, I have, an e I have some email, but I'm just going to read for referencing. Yeah, I'm <coughs> So do you have your real estate license? No, you know what? I appreciate you asking that. Um, and talking with the uh, with the realtors, I don't know. I don't know that I that I need to get one or necessarily want to get one because you're talking about my expense reimbursement strategy. Well, that's illegal. I don't even know why that was in the proposal because that. that's illegal. Okay, okay. <laughs> but my question is, is if you're going to be. Um, Soliciting and trying to market uh, Josephine County as part of the premise of your original mm -hmm. proposal in, in the blue book that I had was that you were going to be a realtor and that you were going to be selling these properties and marketing these properties mm -hmm. to these people. So how how are you going to accomplish that? Do you First off, I'd like to get a point of clarification just so it's not there's no misunderstanding here. What are you defining as illegal? What's illegal? Well, the, the contract. 
commission, commission, commission kickback. Okay. okay, so that was what was illegal. But that was part of your proposal was you were going to be able to wait until the commissioner head comes back. Yeah. I don't want to really do this conversation with this very good point. You are coming back, right, Commissioner Head? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm listening. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to get my the computer to communicate correctly. Oh. Good luck. We'll we'll see you next week. Yeah, some days they get summer. The old saying goes, and wise men know the limitations. Terry? Terry? I'm sorry, he's a problem. I don't have, I don't have my, uh, my drive on it. I don't have the material. It's, it? it's in there in the cradle because I was going to throw it in the trash can. <laughs> Sorry. Would you like to use my copy? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I apologize. Where are we at on the. Okay, to respond to your question, Commissioner, I appreciate it very much. Best in class modeling, I made this clear in my presentation and also in my application. Best in class modeling upon which my plan is based tells us it's three years on average from the point of first contact until the shovel is put in the ground for a project. This doesn't happen overnight. If we had done this three years ago, it would be a different conversation today, but we did. So now we can. It's three years from the first point of contact until you put the shovel on the ground. So you have to be in contact with these companies on average seven to eight times, not on the phone email, but actually in person. And so I give myself and my plan the bandwidth and the runway to actually get that done. And as you know, in communications with me, I'm actually on the verge of recruiting corporate headquarters right now, a tech company based in Silicon Valley. So, so the plan that I've got is, says, look, I don't want to be uh, taking... Uh, you know, for, as far as my funding is concerned, I don't necessarily need to get that funding indefinitely. I'd really like to create a plan to be self-sufficient within a given period of time. And so just to rehearse, and some of you know this already, but just to rehearse the detail in response to your question, I created this plan where I could be self-sustaining. I'm thinking within about a five to seven year period of time. By putting myself, and this is very much legal, and if you think otherwise, then we have legal counsel here who can tell us otherwise. But it, it's very much legal for me to put myself in a position where if I'm representing these companies where I would get a commission. And, and even if even if I refer that work to another realtor, because I don't want to get entangled in real estate transactions, I won't be able to focus on recruiting these companies if I do. But it is quite legal for me to get a referral fee as a realtor by bringing the transaction to someone else. And so they'll handle that transaction. The companies can do their own due diligence about their relationship with the realtor, etc. I'll get a portion of that. And what I committed to with my stakeholders is at not, the first couple of years are going to be sweat equity. It's a little good faith sweat equity. But there's still a performance metric that I can be held accountable to during the course of this process. But once that pipeline starts of companies starting to come through and I'm able to represent them and, and given their commercial transactions done, et cetera, then I will credit back to my stakeholders up to 50% of my earnings from those commissions. And the, the concept is that within a given period of time, those commissions will override the funds that the counties have committed and those stakeholders have committed, and I'll be self-sustaining. That's the plan. So whether that works from the county standpoint, uh, because there's legalities and ordinances within the state of Oregon that wouldn't prohibit you from doing that, I, I can't address that. That's why. Yeah. No, <laughs> my, my question is, then, is you say you're going to be getting commissions, you know, referral commissions, then how do you get a commission if you're not a licensed agent? There's, there's, there's two answers to that. Okay. I've actually spoke with licensed real estate brokers who told me that we can navigate through this. And, 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 one of the, and I'm not one of those people, so I can't answer you verbatim. I'm just telling you what they're telling me. One is that I can get a license, and then there's, then there's absolutely no issue. The other is that it's not a, a referral uh, for, for the transaction, but that firm can make a contribution to the work of Imagine Southern Oregon, basically as a marketing consultant on behalf of this community, to get this done. And that's perfectly legal. Yeah, that is. Yeah. But, but that was not what I had read in your proposal. So yeah. Well, that, that, you know what? That was the proposal back in November, and I'm still kind of getting through the motor curve and figuring out how I can navigate through that. And subsequently, I got that counsel. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. And again, it puts me on a trajectory to be self-sustaining. And in between the time, now and the time that I'm self-sustaining, there's a whole performance metrics here that I can be held accountable to on a quarterly basis. You'll be able to look and see if they're actually doing what he said he would do. And if I'm not, then you cut me off. Pretty simple. 
think we have some concerns about the duration of time requesting three years to the board. Um, the majority of it isn't likely to, to be here, and we don't really obligate actually future boards to, to move in. If we did say something of three years, it would be false, frankly, because um, we really can't make those kinds of commitments. So the year to year is not necessarily meant as a limitation that it wouldn't extend to a following year. It's just that's the length of our ability to obligate ourselves. Um, also, because uh, our <coughs> economic development funds are really in, indefinite, we really don't know what they're going to be. It's the same thing with Title III. Um, those funds, we're looking at our third reiteration of secure rural schools, and everybody is very clear when we appropriate those dollars, they're there. As long as there is money there in the coffers, we're not backing it up by the general fund and economic development is really very similar to that. So the duration of time, I, I guess, you know, there's going to be some back and forth on this and as time goes on maybe the, the relationship will be more solidified but well, that, well, that cool. yeah and I understand that just to the point of reference Jackson County I, and I don't know the difference between the county and the structure but Jackson County can make a three year commitment um, just to the point of reference but even if it's a year to year I would ask that the language in the contract be such that if I meet those performance metric standards, mm -hmm. that there's an option in there for it to be re renewable based on that condition. If I don't, then it's not. I but think if that I seems reasonable from my yeah, and I would agree because I think that, 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 that's an issue we yeah that's an issue which I think we in the, in the majority at least have agreed to mm -hmm. the the long term process prior the three year process. But, as you say, if you're not meeting those metrics, then that process needs to stop. But right. you should have the confidence that this is seen as a long-term situation, three-year term. And as a point of reference, when I first went out and presented this and was soliciting stakeholders and finding out if people actually wanted to engage and build this opportunity, this pipeline of opportunity, the best-in-class modeling, that community made a five-year commitment to getting it done. And they found out that it was three years on average, but they made a five-year commitment. So I was originally still saying five years, and people said, well, three years best-in-class modeling to get it done. And that's three years to build a pipeline. So once you build that pipeline, then the numbers that are in that performance metrics, that's the number of companies that you'll be visiting and will be visiting here, and that's the number of jobs that we're targeting to come here on an annual basis. That sounds reasonable. I just... We are not in the same fiscal situation as Jackson County, as you well know. Yeah. Um, they, their relative revenue streams compared to ours and obligations are far different. So um, until things probably are solidified with our revenue stream, I, I can't say hardly anything, let alone a jail, is going to be there next year. <laughs> you know. So everything is coming into it. That How much has the city then, uh, excuse me, the county, Jackson County committed if they committed for three years? $100,000 per year, which is basically a third of the, uh, of the budget. What about the city? Um, the city has, you know, they've had a work session with them, and they're they're right in their budgetary cycle right now. So I, you know, I have a feeling that they're going to wind up engaging, but that hasn't happened yet, and we're, we're okay. I've got breathing room. Anyone else? Um, yeah, there's other, there's other stakeholders that, you know, a, a lot of, and Commissioner, uh, it stretches a lot of people out of their comfort zone. So I have stakeholder commitments right now that, that are about $259,000, Safe Corporation, um, Our Homes, uh, Boxer in the City, uh, not City, I'm sorry. How did, Safe, how did Safe Corporation make any commitment? That's a state insurance fund? Yeah, they, they uh, Commissioner, uh, nobody's ever asked him this question before. I appreciate you asking that question. I went up there and said, you know, of the 10,000 jobs in this two-county region that have not been regained since the economy supposedly rebounded five and a half years ago, 10,000 jobs haven't been regained. And I said, um, what's, what's, a, what's, a, what's, a, what's the impact on your bottom line, the state corporation? And they said it's about $10 million annually and what the, and, and, the, and, their, uh, and, and their insurance premiums. And I said, has anybody ever asked you that question? They said, no. I said, so nobody's ever offered to partner with you to kind of reverse the tide there? And they said, no. I said, well, I got an idea. You want to talk about it? And they said, yes. So they engaged in support. And they're perfectly within the legal rights to do so. They engaged in support, but they haven't committed any money. Oh, yes, they absolutely have, yes. Jeez. Yes. Public corporations. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, in 3C, it says, um, <coughs> Provide the county a strategic plan to create new streams of tax revenue. What did you have in mind with new tax? Well, this is what I'm saying, Commissioner. Uh, those, those 3A through 3E, those were 
I, I did not print those. Those were rhetorical questions that were outlined in the, in the cover letter of my original proposal. That is not what so I... So you don't mean. want A through E? No, that's not, that's not what the scope of work is about. Okay, so could you tell me in the F through K, well, those last one is public forum and... A, okay. Contacting, visiting, and facilitating. How do we measure any of that? Because there's nothing in there that provides us with increasing a specific number or developing and implementing anything or doing anything like that. How do you measure, I mean, contact, I contact 200 companies this afternoon. I can visit companies all week long mm -hmm. and I can facilitate a lot of things. So how does that produce any kind of measurable result for Josephine County? You know, Commissioner, this is kind of uncharted waters for this community. But again, Western Class Mon, this is another community in the Pacific Northwest, similar in size to ours, that did this and brought in 75 to 80 businesses that resulted in hundreds of millions of dollars of private sector capital improvements in that economy, totally transformed. We've never done this. So is it uncharted waters for yes, us? Yeah, but it's not uncharted it's waters. It's uncharted waters, waters, but we still have to have metrics to this, measure. We can't no. measure facilitation. How do you measure it? So, so the targeting is to... To, to, to identify, and again, I've got, I've got a very specific search engine tool that I'm using in this. I'm going, I've got a warm market prospecting way, which is how it led to this company that I've already told you guys about, um, the email that I'm having a, a networking event on their behalf next Friday. How did you say you got a hold of them? How did you I'm say, sorry? How, how did you say you recruited them? Originally? Yeah. They came here 10 years ago of their own volition. There's somebody, there's somebody in this community who would like to take credit for that, but I found out from the owners of that company. No, they didn't. They, they did tremendous research on the West Coast. They were based in the Silicon Valley. They did tremendous research on their own because they wanted to put their manufacturing somewhere else, and they decided to come here. Once they came here, they made contact with our economic development professionals, and you know they were they were there to try to assist them and such. But they've been here for 10 years already with great great family wage jobs in this community. I knew I did my research and found out they've got three different facilities right now for leasing. Well, at the time I was getting my paycheck signed by a gentleman who bought into the division and bought 80 acres and said he would develop Tech Park, and so I was promoting that project at the time. I've since disengaged back in November. I'm promoting this whole two county region, everything from Merlin to Ashland. So I made an outreach to them and said, I know that you've got three facilities right here that you're, that you're leasing right now, but I, I think I could put you in consolidate into one facility that you could own for a similar value. Would you guys be interested in having that conversation? They said yes. Well, last July, I was expecting just the president of the company to come to Silicon Valley, but they brought a whole herd of their executives up, including the founder and CEO. And, and while we were talking, I said, you know, we're talking about you guys, you know, consolidating your manufacturing into a single facility, but have you ever thought seriously about relocating your corporate headquarters out of Silicon Valley? I mean, what's, what's keeping you down there? Do you need to be down there? And, and you can see the wheels are starting to turn. And so from that time, at the end of that evening, by the way, uh, the, the uh, founder CEO said, you know what? Now I'm 98.5, that number six in my mind. Now I'm 98.5% certain I do want to relocate the corporate headquarters up here. And so from that time till now, I've met with this company a dozen times. I've taken my family down. We've built rapport. We've built a relationship. I've toured their facility. We've been in her home overlooking the Bay Area. They've been in my home for dinner. They brought a group of 18 people up here that are the key people that they would need to make this really work. And I've talked to those people, and a bunch of them, you know, probably about half of them, when they first heard about it, they were going, oh, no, Oregon, what are you thinking? And they came up here and fell in love with this community. I have toured them in sites from, again, Merlin to Ashland. Very engaged. They helped me with a tremendous amount of due diligence. So the opportunity was there. I just picked the phone and called them. And now that company is, number one, I've built such a great relationship with them. Not only do they want to relocate their corporate headquarters up here, they have three other businesses that they'd like to expand in this region, all of which have game changer potential for this community. And they want to be my first success story, and they want me to network through them, and this individual is very highly regarded and connected at the highest levels of government and business in South Korea, and she sees herself, she's about seven, almost 70 years old, she'll be 69, at this season of her life, she wants to pay it, really pay it forward and help wherever she's at. And she sees herself being able to help our community build this tech sector. She wants to build a pipeline into South Korea for opportunities to come back here. Not only tourism, but businesses that might be interested in locating on the West Coast. So that all came from one conversation. Okay, so I mean, all of that, all of that is more of the process of what you are supposed to be doing, not necessarily pertaining to this. Yeah, yeah that's that's contract, right. because I'm still, I still, you know. These are pretty nebulous, nebulous statements here. F through F, G, H, and I. Four so, things. So Contact 200 companies. Right. 
visit 40 companies, mm -hmm. facilitate relocation, facilitate relocation. That's it. How do we measure that? And, and again, in my language, if you look at the email I sent, I said targeted. These are not guarantees. These are targeted. This is, this is okay, a sales So how many of these, you just talked about one company that's been here. Yeah. Of the 200 companies, um, how many people do you know? Are they just cold calls? There, there's, there's multiple answers to that. I've got a warm market. What right was the now. right answer? How many people do you know? Well, just like multiple right answers. But yeah, get the wrong answer. Mark, raise my hand. Yeah. And I would like to be recognized if I may. No. Just hang on. <laughs> just, just take deep breath and lean back in the chair. And, and re retool. Yes. Yeah. I'm not interested in, in the discussion mm. of another sales. I've, I've got that. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the specific matrix. They are what they are. They don't qualify for anyone's opinion here. Um, ask for greater, greater clarity or more specifics, but frankly, I, I'm okay. It's the targeting element. All of that has been explained um, pretty thoroughly, and, and that's, that's fine. There isn't an, an ability in my mind to really quantify exactly that you're going to guarantee X number of jobs are going to be created here in the next year. We just don't know. But we're not trying this right now. Other communities are. And that's not acceptable to me that we're going to be left out of the equation. Uh, Josephine County can't afford to do that. Uh, given the, the tech element that is prevalent here, this is, this is the targeted thing that we need to do. Um, it makes perfect sense. So I, I'm ready to go. Uh, there's a lot of other things that we need to discuss uh, today. So um, I, I'm just, the specifics of it, we should have had worked out. I'm fine with removing the first three or four that are um, for a misunderstanding as far as it's five, it looks like, um, from uh, questions that were raised in there. Um, that's why I think we can give this shot for a pilot project for, for definitely a year. You say you're not meeting these kinds of expectations. Then, then so be it. It was a good shot. We tried our best, and um, uh, we, we moved on. We learned some things. Uh, that that makes perfect sense to me. So. And, I mean, I would basically I would concur with Commissioner Hare and the idea that you're trying to nail Jello to the wall in one sense on this whole thing because it's hard to take a identify it, have it all set up. And closed in, and okay, we move on to the next step. That's the difficulty of this. This is a this is an adventure. Uh, the end result is improved economy, jobs in Josephine County. That's that's the end result. I think with the measurables that we do have, though the specifics are general, I I can say that in, in next. March 1st of 2016, we're going to have a pretty good idea whether or not you have performed anything, and uh, or, or not. And I think that's that's the measurables here. So. I also say that I don't think we're asking for any more measurable specifics. I don't have those from SORA that are the measurable specifics of our contribution as a membership every year. They're not held to any matrix as far as creating a number of jobs even targeting a number of companies and in, in Josephine County or outside. Um, that isn't, we don't have that existing right now with them and maybe we should. And we well, should, if we'd have given them $50,000, they would have been well, we'll just just employees them instead of laying them off. Uh, the economy went down, yeah. the county, the city, everybody cut the amount they were giving them and they had to lay off employees. How do they, how do, they do a job if their employees are laid off? If we would give them $50,000, they could be doing a whole lot. We gave them $50,000, and I Not since see. I've been here. No. Yeah, that's no, true. So, yeah. But, no, but I, I would like to... I haven't seen any deliverables. I, would, yeah. I haven't seen any deliverables since already, since the last yeah, year but I asked them to send or so. Well, I, let's okay, let's, let's you, for the sake of... Can you make a statement, yeah. Commissioner Hunt? Yes, ma'am, go ahead. In 2014, of the jobs that were created, <clears throat> so ready, uh, 30, uh, 53 jobs were created. 30 of those were in Josephine County. And the amount received in Josephine County for loans in Josephine County that's already $864,000, which is, represents about 68% um, of the total loans they made last year. So all this talk about so ready only does stuff in Jackson County is not true. I don't want this to be a story. Yeah, well, that's exactly my point. I, I, I don't like so ready being brought up because that has nothing to do with this. I do think Mark and So Ready have already history, and I, the intention is certainly 
that you're not closing out so ready, and I would trust that so ready is not closing out Mark. So it's, it's a it's a relationship that can be expanded on. It's it's doing a different focus of work. But I, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to bring so ready in this because it really doesn't have anything to do with this. To, to your point, real quick, if I could, um, Ron Fox, the executive director of so ready, RSCP'd last night. He's going to attend the networking event that I've structured for a week from Friday. Yeah, and so and he, business already, Larry Holt's gang is Well, he should. He now. should because that's that's a you know business and business awareness kind of a thing. So I just don't, you know, this is we're talking about this situation. If we don't like the situation for what it is worth, then fine. That's one thing. But to bring it into a, a, a comparable that has nothing to do all to do with this, I don't think it's valid. So, any other comments? Cindy, don't call me nuts. Oh, no. no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you. Well, Anything else you have? Hey, yes, uh, yeah. thank you, Mr. Chair. So, have we received, are we in consensus? As, what are we in consensus about? In I think we're in consensus right. on deleting those five points under mm-hmm. yeah. C. No consensus. Yeah. I don't support it. Okay. Well, there's a majority of the board that supports this, so it's a yeah, demonstrative action. To, um, to delete those. Week, to yeah. And so, Mr. Vaughn, uh, Mark, you yeah. are in consensus on that point. Um, of what I would like to make clear, clarity on also, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna eliminate again the five rhetorical questions is a good part of the scope of work. That would be in your contract services scope 3A through 3E. Right. Sir. And then your know, language would be amended in what you have identified currently as F, G, H, and I. Well, that's a separate question. So I'm, okay. we have two board members, from what I'm hearing, saying, Mark. and Mark saying, remove 3A through E. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So that, now, moving on to 3F, what does the board and want the, to say? The problem with 3F? I, all I said was uh, target, they added that language, target contracting, 200 companies annually that are the right size of demographic for Josephine and Jackson counties and encourage them to relocate to Josephine and Jackson counties. So the targeting was added in there, and then and the fact that it's a two-county initiative, Jackson and Angeles County. Because when I bring these companies up, they're going to look at the whole, yeah, the whole region, like it's not a county. Yeah, but what's what? I mean, I I, I would much see Audi if you're more comfortable saying target companies, not not necessarily target 200, just target companies. I'll defer to your judgment in that regard, but that's but but as far as my performance metrics, I want to be able to get back to you on a quarterly basis and say, you know, these companies are going to be codenamed because I don't want. You know, if everybody finds out the name of the company I'm targeting, then everybody's involved sure. in the scale. Sure, I, really, that's that's part of I know the name of the company already. So. Well, we're not talking about no. the company. We're yeah. talking about in general. Because yeah. it's already in business already does the same I understand thing, it. Same I understand all that. I understand all that. Okay, so, and then, so, in G, it was target visiting 40 companies, the right size and demographic, and then basically in Jackson, Josie County, age, target, facility, Jackson, Josie County, et cetera. That was all the language I adjusted. On, on IJ, I cross that out like together, provide monthly presentations. If I get into a mode where I'm doing monthly presentations, I'm going to spend all my time doing presentations right. and not recruiting. No. So what I said is I'm going to be giving you quarterly reports, and I'll be glad to give quarterly updates in a public forum Fine. so people know where I'm tracking against that performance metrics. Fine. Sounds great. All right. So, yeah. Mr. Chair, for my own, so if yeah. I can, it's going to be tedious here for the next couple of minutes, but yeah, I, I appreciate your all right, so let's please uh, just focus for a moment on 3F, exclusively on provision 3F. So mm-hmm. I'll read that. It says, contact 200 companies that are the right size demographic for Josephine County and encourage them to relocate to Josephine County. Yeah. What does the, what does the act, board propose? Then we'll actively involved in contacting companies. Interesting. To me, the number is not necessary. Just a 200. I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. We'll leave it as it is. Leave it as it is. But these they, they, they say Jackson and jo- Josephine and Jackson County, not just exclusively Josephine County. It's not a metric specific to Josephine County. It's a metric for the region. Well, okay. I mean, I, it, it, to say that if we're going to take a number, let's just say we're two thirds to contact seventy five companies. For Josephine County, I mean, in other words, we're focusing on Josephine County. But I won't be, Christian. Won't, I won't be able to call a company and say I'm representing Josephine County. I mean, I'm not really you know what I mean? I'm going, to, I'm going to talk to them about this region. I'm going to pretend like it's not a county line. And right. I'll show them everything from, again, from Merlin or further that direction all the way to Ashland, and let them look at everything that's here. Well, I could say I think for the company, for me, that there would be a, a rather deep 
price to pay if in the end of a year you've seen six companies come to the area and none of them are based in Josephine County. I could not agree more. Yeah. That's why I want, to, I, want to, I want to erase that county line and say, let's, look, this is our community. Welcome to our community. Yeah, Welcome but that, that community had better be in Josephine County. They're looking at I've already shown this company yeah. that she knows who it is. I've already been able to regard yeah. both yeah. in both counties. Yeah. That's just that just a concern, but you're comfortable with that. I am. We have to be. Otherwise, we're hiring somebody exclusively, which we're not doing. Yeah. So if we have the resources to do it exclusively, then that's exactly what we would yeah. do. But we don't, so this is a partnership. Okay. Fine. So the language shall now say, and it's just going to say, contact 200 companies that are the right size and demographic for Josephine County and encourage them to relocate to Josephine or Jackson County. Yeah. I mean, is that the... And I say and, not or, whatever. Semantics. Well, and or. Okay. We'll, be, we'll push the and no. slash or. <laughs> no, I mean, the, the, the idea is, is, I think the idea is that it's a region. Encourage them to relocate to, to Jackson and or and well, or so, Joseph Okay. But, Mr. Chair, so yeah. if I put the word and in there, then the provisions of the contract say that he's got to bring six company, or 200 companies to Josephine and to Jackson County. <laughs> or so we got to be precise here. Maybe I say I, I think if you want to include Jackson County, I, I recommend the word "or." I will happily defer to legal counsel's interpretation. Okay, so the parties are in for clarity. Yes, the so parties are in agreement that I will yeah. add the words "or Jackson County" to the end of paragraph three F. Mm -hmm. The word "target" at the beginning of that. Sentence. This is the worst possible way to negotiate a contract. I know this. So. No, this is in the, the future, way it's best to delegate it to probably one. We can sit down and hash this out, bring it back to the you know, balance of the board. Ideally, that would be great. It so is. The, the, next if I were to negotiate, the problem is that we'd potentially run afoul of, you know, it's like, well, Commissioner Harris says, you've know, got to go take it to finish yeah, So let's, uh, let's deal with what we have, which okay. is, where, what's the next point? Okay. Yeah, so, no, so oh, okay, now Mark asked us to, to add as a 3F to change the word contact to the word target. Target contact. Target visiting and target facilitating relocation. What, what word do you want, Mark? <laughs> the word is target. target. But each one of the word, the word okay. will be target. Then you have to change the word. If you're going to say target, it's going to say target contact. It's going to target contacting. Target okay, facilitating. Okay, so 3F target. will say target contacting. Right, exactly. Okay. Got it. Okay. There is consensus, at least between the majority yeah. of the board. And yeah. on that point. Okay. And I appreciate you working with me on this. this is, it's going to be over at the end of this experience. <laughs> right. Just have, this is government action. Okay, here we go. 3G. Visit, currently reads, visit 40 companies that are the right size and demographic of Josephine County and encourage them to relocate to Josephine County with a goal of having at least 20 companies visit Josephine County. That's the current language. So is that satisfactory mm -hmm. to the majority of the members? Satisfactory. Target, target, target visiting. Target visiting and then add Jackson County. And that's all you need to do. Just the same same premise as the, all the other ones here. But he's proposed something different. He wants me to add the words and then put or Jackson County. Yeah, thank you. For reasons we discussed yeah, yeah. previously. He wants me to put the words or Jackson County on the end of that paragraph and add the word target to the beginning of it. Target visiting. And it's both counties. It's the same premise. Target visiting. Here, I mean, I'm going to be a sick of the mud. I'm going to just target visiting for Josephine County. Because it, it, we're, we are supposedly, and I appreciate the, all that stuff about we're a region. I appreciate all that stuff. Yeah. But regions do not specifically help, happen, uh, help the tax base folks in Josephine County. That's what I'm concerned about. So the I, realize, I realize that the overall big picture is yeah. going to be a benefit to the region, but... The target there, the, the context of it is targeting companies. I will go visit there. I will go visit 40 companies in that market. And then the next point is I am targeting bringing 20 of them back up here. So they will absolutely be looking at Josephine County because I'm not going to stop the county line. They can't look any further. I'm going to bring them into this county and we're going to look at everything that's here. So that's the, the or is, is applicable there. But the, but the context, just so you know, it wasn't bringing 40 companies here. That's the next point, which is the 20. So I want to go down and visit them and talk to them about Jackson, Josephine County. And then of those 40, I think I need 20 to come up here and pay us a visit. I don't want to put us on a sidetrack situation. Mm -hmm. What does Jackson County's contract look like? Uh, basically, it's got the same same language. Um, that, uh, does it say Josephine County, or does it just say Jackson? It's, it's going to say Josephine County. They don't have a contract. No, we're still we're still working through that right now. But it's it's two I have, region. Everybody on the phone for a copy like a week ago when you said it, they had graffiti. Yeah. So let's see their contract first. I hate to put you out a little bit, but I need to see 
If we're doing a regional approach, they need to be doing that. We sign the same general contract, and I'm happy. Okay, so here, here we got a little bit of a no. no, because I'd like, I'd like to see, you know, it's, it's in the process of negotiation with Jackson County. I'd like to be able to take them and say, well, here's Joseph County's contract. It's two county region. Right. I understand that. I got to say, well, no, you first. No, you first. Okay, okay. well, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I can appreciate that. The problem is is that we are we are tasked with the concern for Josephine County. That's our work. And to establish a contract that is going to say Jackson and Josephine or and Josephine County without knowing what they are going to say. They can say Jackson County. No, I yeah. Write your contract so it's contingent upon it be, there, there would be an agreement. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. If they're in agreement. But don't, yeah, just make it, make, make it contingent upon. That, that would be, if we can do somehow do that, that would be fun. I mean, in, in the, our existing economic development enterprise has had that, that relationship for going on 29 years. Yeah. So it's not unprecedented. <laughs> so we're looking for a contingency provision in our contract that says Jackson County will have comparable language regarding Jackson, ja relocating jobs and et cetera. To the regionality component. Or Joe Street. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm fine with regionality. I mean, that's the big thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. If their balance of the advocacy is the same as ours, then that's good. So are you making this contract contingent on him being a contract with Jackson County? That has, yeah, that has, yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is going yeah. to be. Because they're talking about if they, don't, if they don't get a contract, we're advocating from a regional standpoint, no. No, yeah. They're not going to do that. Why so we're we're okay. So the I'll add a provision then. This contract will now be um, effective upon him providing documentation of a comparable contract regarding regional concerns with Jackson County. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. We've got the majority. we got this. we got my. Okay. Um, you know, I would ask for clarity that that contract doesn't have to be executed because we get into this standoff where it's like, well, you first. No, you first. No, no our first. contract well, be Ours is executed. Thank you. On the basis that they right. also write a contract. Right. Yeah. yeah. So there will not be a check going out the door. Right. right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're all clear on this. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate it. And also, um, we've got the majority here saying that they want me to add the word target to the word to uh, paragraph 3G. So it'll say target visiting 40 companies, et cetera. Yes. That's fine. Is that, that's what the majority... Okay. Okay. Moving on to 3H. So he proposed, if I understand him right, that he wants me to add the word target to the beginning of that paragraph as well. So the majority agrees on that point. Okay. And, uh, okay, and now that only says Josephine County, 3, 3 uh, H reads uh, target facilitating the location of four companies in Josephine County and provide documentation of contractors involvement in the relocation. Yes. We're not going to stand in the Jackson, and Jackson, and Jackson and Josephine County, or Josephine, Josephine and, or, or sorry. So he, wants to, he wants me to put the words, or Jackson County, right. after the word Josephine County in 3H. Right. We're, get, we're getting to the point to where we're wrangling over, and I mean, this is something we ought to be doing in a different venue than this table. Okay. okay. I, can, I can collect his proposals. And I suppose to present them back, but I can't. But I cannot do on the public meeting laws is say, well, Commissioner Walker wants this, and then you know, no, no, Commissioner Heck and say, yeah, sure, you know, work out a contract that. Yeah, way. that's not the, the right. premise of this is is, is that's all the same. It's targeting, and it's both counting. And nothing. Every every one of those points, it's the same. It's the same premise. So it's not like it's each point is so radically different in the concept. Is it possible to have a clean copy by the end of the day? You can have consensus mm -hmm. with the board to move something to the administrative calendar. On a, on a version. The, the, the idea is we're contracting with you to do these mm -hmm. services. The specifics of the language can be worked out prior to the admin meeting, but we just have to post that document like by tomorrow. So okay. Yeah, by the end of the day, I can easily have that. That would be my goal is that you take it back and have a clean copy and that we can review it and, and that'll, that's what's posted yes. based on consensus. Hopefully, he agrees to it because it's. If he doesn't agree with what I come up with, then week. Yep, that's just the way it is. So, yeah, sure. that's fine. But I want a clean copy to see this. Mm -hmm. the way it yeah. For me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Totally doable. Okay. Do we'll have yeah. a clean copy? Thank you, sir. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull it up at these.
these are bigger than public forum. These are taxpayer dollars. Yeah. People, people need to know. We're talking about video poker proceeds here, which are earmarked by state statute, specifically for economic development, specifically job creation. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's just coming out of the general tax right. fund. There's something right. good that's coming from gambling here. If you will. What are the odds of that happening? <laughs> Moving on to B. <laughs> Thank you.